What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great week so far. All right, guys, this is viewer participation. In other words, this time you guys get all the say. I don't say anything and describe anything I say. All I'm going to do is I'm going to present what I've found, and I'm going to let you guys tell me what you think it is. Okay? We're going to go back to Spirit Rover 2175, and this is a mosaic. Let's check it out. Okay, here it is right here. It's from University Today, Space and Astronomy News, and this was on June 20th. You can also find it here on APOD, which is the Astronomy Picture of the Day, and this was May 30th, 2011, okay? And you see right here, it's got an explanation. It says, this is the last thing the Despair rover on Mars ever saw. Operating years beyond original ex expectations, Spirit eventually got mirrored in Martian dirt and then ran out of power when investigating the unusual home plate surface features on Mars. Visible on the above panorama are numerous rocks and slopes of the surrounding Columbia Hills of Mars. The strange hill with the light colored top, which is right up here, and you guys will see that better. Okay. Visible near the top center of the image has been dubbed Von Braun and was future destination when spirit got bogged down. A leading hypothesis holds that Von Braun is related to Martian volcanism. Last week, NASA stopped trying to contact spirit after numerous attempts. Half a world away, Spirit's sister rover Opportunity continues to roll toward Ende Endeavour Crater, which could become the largest crater yet visited by an Earthling-created robot. Now, um, Endeavour Crater is where the Spirit was also supposed to be around, too. And this is some of the ridges that supposedly around the crater, right? Um, I found this one pretty interesting. You can find multiple, you know, uh, photos of this particular. You can find black and white. You can find different color ones. You can see right here, Spirit Rover, last panorama of Gusev Crater before fourth Martian winter. And then you can see Sol 2175, February 2010. Now, the credit goes to Marco D. Lorenzo and Kenneth Kremer of NASA, JPL, and Cornell. Okay. Um, you can see right here, Opportunity Rover heads to Spirit uh, Point to honor dead Martian sister, Science Team Tributes. And down here it says, Endeavor's massive rim consists of a series of ridges. Cape York is a 400 foot wide or 120 uh, meters rim fragment at the western edge of Endeavor, which is a big crater, right? Opportunity should reach Spirit Point for the end of this year, 2011. Now, it shows like different points. It says uh, Spirit Point right here. And it shows right here on the underbelly of the rover. And you guys will get the link to this so you guys can check this out in a little bit more in depth. Now, again, I'm going to show you the photo. I'm not going to tell you what I think it is. I'm going to let you guys decide. And guys, we need all of you guys that are amateur photographers or professional. Doesn't really matter. Now, check this out. Again, this is in Gusev Crater before 4th uh, Martian winter. And they were hoping to get this thing to go because they were afraid that the Martian winter would completely cripple the thing, right? And basically get stuck and got bogged down, and that was the end of that. It didn't have enough power to get back out, which I find a little weird because we had done a video before of Opportunity where it literally got bogged down and literally over the wheels. And because it's a six-wheel drive, it basically got right out of it with no problem, yet Spirit got caught. Um, there may be other reasons why I got caught, right? Anyway, let's zoom into this. I want to show you guys right off the bat. First of all, we get this pukey color. I'm going to try to get it off. But how many here, look at this, right here, this hill, all of the foreground, everything looks pretty darn good. Let's just back up just a little bit, get the whole photo in there. Looks pretty darn good. I can see the rocks and stuff like that. Of course, there are some things that are being covered up, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Look at this right here. You got half a colored rock, but look at the line here. I find this interesting. Check this out. This is Right here. I'm going to go ahead and make this a little smaller as far as lines. Okay. Right here, you got this line going like this. Going like this. And then you got this other weird looking rock type thing. Wait a minute. How does one rock go into another rock? How is that possible? That doesn't make any sense. It's like they were like, you know, they're just kind of blocking stuff out randomly just to get rid of whatever they don't want you to see. And like I said, I've done a video on this and it literally looked like some kind of weird end of a craft. Where it had like these look like uh, lights or something at the bottom or something like that. Um, it, it's it's pretty crazy. If you guys have been following along, you know exactly what I've done. All right. With that being said, who here believes that this in the background actually looks like it's inverted? Check this out. Let's zoom in a little bit. Now I'm going to get rid of this pukey color or the orangey rusty looking color. You guys can have a better look. Okay. I'm just going to back it a little bit again. Now, I'm not doing anything other than just taking the color out. And I'm going to show you what I mean. Just so you guys know that I'm not trying to do anything to this photo other than just I'm going to do an auto color. That's all we're going to do here. That's it. Okay. Now, when you look at this, I can see this this foreground here. It looks perfectly fine. 
Of course, there's stuff hidden in here too. I've done, like I said, I've done an extensive video on this particular area, but I never noticed this before because you'll notice from photo to photo, there's discrepancies in them and there shouldn't be. There's things that you see in this photo, go to another one that's supposed to be the same exact area, same view and everything, and yet there's stuff, different rocks, different other things. And this background is no different because you guys can literally look for this and you'll see it looks pretty darn pristine, meaning better quality, and yet you don't see what you're seeing here. Now, when you look at this, this whole area, it looks inverted to me. See that? Compared to the rest of this photo, this looks inverted. All right, guys, let's see what happens when I invert this. See what happens. Now, we know if I invert this, let's say this whole part of this photo right here, all of this foreground right here, it's obviously going to turn into a negative. But what happens to something that's already inverted? Let's have a look. Okay, now check this out here in the background. Okay. I'm not going to tell you what I think it is. Again, this is all you this time, guys. And I like to do these every now and then because people say, well, you know, sometimes you get these little comments, people going, well, you know, you're suggesting it. So therefore, people think it's the bat, it's like a power of suggestion. So you're leading these people on. Okay, this time you guys get full reign of this. You guys tell me what you think. Okay, again, I'm seeing what looks like things here. Right, like this. I'm seeing like what look like squares. Like this here. And of course, there's other objects in here as well. As well as uh, something here. Going like this here. And what looks like this here. But you got like this piece going like this. Okay. And then going like this down here. All right. So let's fully enhance this. See what we got, right? Okay. So I started to just use the burn tool. Very lightly go over it. Anything that's dark is going to pop. It's as simple as that. Look at these objects. It's starting to pop out now. Right here. See that? Check that out. Now, keep in mind, this stuff is in fact there. This piece right here. Let's zoom in. See if we can find it. It's there. It's right there. And I can see these pieces like this here. See that? This piece right here coming straight down. You can see it like that right there. So this, this stuff is in fact in the photo. But, like I said, it, what it is is that they've inverted it. At least that's the way I feel it. So now, you can see this background looks absolutely inverted. You can see that, right? How come the bank looks more normal now? Now, let's keep going with this. Okay, now let's complete it. Because I wanted to do this side over here on the right as well. Right on this side. Okay, so you can see this weird looking thing here. And that's also in the photo, guys. Check this out. It's right there. But again, this whole area looks completely inverted. And that's what I've got for a finished photo. Now, keep in mind that this part right here may not be flat at all because I believe that's part of the stitch. See that? That's part of the stitch of this photo when they stitch these together. See that? So, it doesn't matter. This thing may come out further than this. I don't know. I'm not sure. It actually may do this. It looks like it comes out further. I don't know just how far that comes out, but there you go. You guys tell me what you think. And there's other things here in the shadows. I don't know if you guys can see this because before I did this part on this side, you can see what looks like little pieces sticking out here. I can see that doing this. It's literally going like this and some kind of piece right there. And then I just go ahead and enhanced it completely. Well, not super deep, but you can start to see these things pop like I showed you, right? Okay. And you can see now, even if this wasn't inverted, you can see things a little bit more detailed and it's actually coming out. Because, again, they are in there. Those pieces are, in fact, in there. I'm going to go ahead and zoom into this. And you guys can have a better look. There's better color. There you go. Yep. There you go, guys. Like I said, tell me what you guys think. What are we seeing here? Again, it's all you guys. You guys tell me what you think this is. It could be anything. There is no wrong answer. There, um, because, frankly, I'm not sure. But I've got my ideas. Maybe you guys have some other ideas, too. You guys tell me what you think. Anyway, guys, let me jump on out of here. Again, this is a viewer participation video. You guys get to tell me what you think. I have no say in this whatsoever. I'm not even going to tell you what I think it is. In fact, like I said, all of the um, photographers, tell me what you think. Was that inverted in the back or was it not? And if it was, what are you seeing now in the photo? You guys let me know. Anyway, guys, got another awesome Mars video coming up. Absolutely cool. It will definitely show some more evidence of 
an intelligent life that lived on Mars. There's no doubt about it. Stay tuned for that. That's coming up again this week. I'm going to try to get this out as quick as possible as well. So guys, stay tuned for that. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.